it's crazy. How nice all these people came out to say hi. It's wonderful. It's exciting. I love this character, and I love the people involved. And very selfishly, I wanted to come back and screaming. play with Colin and Patrick. Patrick and <laughs> wow. Thank you. Really well, we're pals off today. screen, so that probably here. helps. Um, uh, I think we all have, a, we share a lot of affection for these very, characters very as well, so and I'm, and I'm sure that people will uh, well, be able to sense that, that when they see the film. The oh, I hope it's a really happy reunion. That's what I felt when I read the script. I was so happy to be back in Bridges World and with her parents and her friends. It was, yeah, I hope that they have fun and they laugh and... Yeah, and that they're happy to be reunited with uh, with our Bridget Jones pals. Um, it, people get themselves worked up, don't they? It's, it's, it's had its effect on me. Yeah. I'm worked up. It was lovely. There's, you know, that's a weird way that time works in warps. And it feels like a lifetime. You forget all about it. And then you get back with the same people. And you suddenly find yourself saying, is this actually the same day? And then you look in the mirror and you realize it's not the same day. I think it's one of those old sort of rules of comedy that in some ways nothing much changes. Um, Mark is very much as he ever was. He's just 15 years on. Um, career's going well. Still hasn't found the right woman. It's still all about Bridget. And uh, the funny thing is about everything being the same is it looks a bit different when you're older. So I think he's having a moment of reflection. I was, I had the same skepticism most people have about sequels. Can they work? Does anyone want it again? Is it relevant? Is it out of date? It, and I started to get the feeling that people did, they were rooting for it to, to work. Um, when I saw Renee, that's when everything was sort of set back into place. And when I saw what good form she was in, I thought I was optimistic. And then Patrick added that fresh element uh, and he, he became a great mate immediately. So. You know, that was the greatest pleasure of all, really. It's great to be here, you know. And certainly with Bridget Jones, to have the premiere here is very, very special. And the fans, and I've had a great time shooting in London and uh, being a part of this. I'm very, you know, grateful for the opportunity. It's completely different than the past, I think, in the sense he's sort of the American entrepreneur who's over here. And, uh, you know, is uh, very outgoing and sort of willing to move forward with uh, something that happened with that wasn't expected, but he's honorable in uh, following through on that. So it's good. It's fun. And working with Colin and Renee was a lot of fun. Really, uh, <laughs> we laughed a lot. Yeah, initially coming into it, I was very nervous. And then I think there was enough time that had gone by where everybody was a bit nervous. And um, that made a big difference, so we could all sort of start over again, or they started over again, and I was just beginning, so it was fun. So there was a little bit of tension at the beginning, just because there was a lot of expectation, everybody wanted to do well, um, and then we started to relax into it and get a rhythm. Uh, hopefully entertainment, and hopefully it lives up to all the other movies, you know, and certainly the, the books and things like that, and they're satisfied, and they, they come away entertained and moved, and they laugh. It is an absolute dream come true to be not only at the Bridget Jones premiere, but to be in the film, honestly. I'm a huge fan of the books and the movie, and to be part of it is wonderful. But when I got the call asking if I'd audition to play her best friend, I kind of was like, I feel like I'm her best friend anyway, because uh, I loved her so much. Um, and it was daunting, you know. Um, I love these actors, um, I love Renee's work, but uh, they're very relaxed, they're very playful. When we got on set, we just improvised a lot, we had a lot of fun. Well, Miranda's very naughty, um, she's quite alpha. She's a news anchor, um, Bridget's the uh, producer, and uh, so that's how they're friends. And she's like one of those good girlfriends that tells you like it is, you know, wants you to um, have fun and, and not take things too seriously and that's and she gets uh, Bridget into all kinds of trouble putting her on tinder and taking it to a music festival and stuff like that I knew his songs but I didn't quite you know know get the the, the whole hype and then he came on set and he was cool he was like an old pro very open and um, and then he serenaded me in the movie he serenades me for this song and uh, it was only one song but we shot it for six hours and by the end I was like I get this I get the Ed Sheeran thing, man. He can he can sing. Well, you know, Renee's like everything you'd expect, like kind and considerate. And when I did my screen test, she would like do like thumbs up behind the camera and um, the things you wouldn't expect. Just like rock and roll, funny, and confident, and just like I felt well, that we got close to the film and we stayed in touch afterwards. So it's, it's great. It feels um, it feels amazing to be at the premiere. It feels incredible. I've. I've never seen so many people, I've never seen so many cameras. It's, I just arrived in from America this morning, I just like, 
I feel like somebody's just bashed me over the head with a brick. It's incredible. It's been amazing. This, um, especially working with Sharon Maguire again, uh, uh, our director from the first film, seeing Rene and Colin again. I mean, I actually don't know how long it has been since the last one. Something like eight years or nine. I don't know, but everything kind of came together as it was before uh, to be with uh, Sally Phillips and Shirley Henderson. It's been a blast. It's been a real blast. She's more centered. She's more in charge of herself. She might make some silly mistakes, um, but I would say in some way she's more assured. I've never heard Rene have an American accent. So, uh, yeah, uh, on set Rene is British, as British as you and I. Uh, kind, considerate, very smart. I mean, every take of hers is kind of... It's perfect, it's right. <laughs> Took me a bit longer. So, I mean, uh, a consummate professional. Somebody as well who's... It is Bridget Jones, and yet finds the time to make everybody around her feel comfortable, which is awesome. Really lovely. I think it's going to be a big, uh, big happy hit. You're going to laugh a lot. Um, just reading the script had all of us in hysterics. That's just reading the script. So uh, I've seen several things in the dub and whatever. It's very, very funny. I think that that's the most important thing. Being here tonight feels really nice, a bit nerve-wracking, so many people. I haven't seen the film, so I don't know what, what it's going to be, but I think it'll be lovely. Um, yeah, and it's nice, it, it's happening, So and it was unexpected, so it's good. We all gather at, at an event, uh, all the characters gather at the beginning of the film, uh, and then you kind of fade off into little snippets of our lives. Not, it's not obviously about Bridget, but you get little bits about the friends, tiny little bits, you get a, a feel of what's been happening to them. Um, my character, she's had lots of little babies and is a little bit bitter. But whether they've kept all that, I'm not absolutely sure. They'll just be little snippets of um, the, the development in 10 years. You know? I mean, I thought there'd be a point where it's, it's uh, like we're all getting too old, you know, because you still want to make it all believable. Um, but it was nice, unexpected, and everybody said yes, and yeah, it's a great script. So, Well, I think it was Sharon's world anyway. I think, I mean, that was that was the world she was in. She was friends with the, the writer, and I think the writer based a, a character on her, so she knows that world, um, and that uh, helps when she's trying to get you to do something. So she just knows what it is she's after. Um, so that made all the difference. Um, but it makes it hard as well because you've got to live up to what she's got in her head as well. So there's the kind of pros and cons to it. I think this is uh, the best of the three premieres. I vaguely remember it raining one year, so I think number two it was possibly raining. Um, but it's uh, most special really to look, Renee's just arrived, oh, how nice. Um, I, just because uh, it's so special, we've known the characters so long now and um, we, we love them, it's like a family reunion. And there's lots of other people that love them a lot as well, so uh, it, the interaction with the fans, it's like they, they know what, who they're coming to see and that's kind of more special really. Shazza has defied all the odds by finding someone to marry and is very happily married to a uh, folk singer. They've got no money at all. They've got two very badly behaved kids, but um, they don't have any money, so they can't go out much. So they don't see Bridget as much as they'd like. Bridget's godmother to both the godchildren, but they don't see her as much. There. And Bridget is now a, a high-flying television executive. So they love each other, and they'll always be best friends, but they don't see each other as much as, much as they'd like to, I think. I think uh, Sharon Maguire is Bridget. I think she's also Mark. She's also, uh, she's, she's all of the characters. She is the world. Like if any of us get lost, we just look at Sharon and she brings it all back. She's the funniest person on set. She's, I, I think, I mean, I really think the direction is one of the stars of this film. The direction is really wonderful. The way, in this film, I feel more than the other two, you, uh, the audience, is the audience is Bridget. She's allowed, she and Renee have worked together to allow you in as that character. It's a slightly different stylistically and I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I feel I can say that because uh, I'm not in it that much. <laughs> no, I really think it's brilliant. I think it's the best of the three. How does it feel to be here? It feels great, kind of surreal. I guess I didn't expect 
I've never been to one of these big things before, so yeah, I mean, it's great, it's buzzing, it's good. Being a newcomer in a Bridget Jones film was amazing and something I never thought would be part of my career story, but it's, those are films I totally grew up with and it was quite surreal stepping on set and being her new sort of mean boss. But great, I mean, it's been a really lovely, lovely experience. So my character is Alice Peabody, and yeah, she's kind of like the villain in the piece. She's uh, Bridget's new boss. So Bridget now produces a news programme called Hard News, and Alice Peabody's brought in to rebrand the programme. And she's kind of um, a brash, gobby, northern hipster who is incredibly confident with her opinions. While well, sharing the screen with Rene, who is a total icon, was amazing. She's really, really generous, no ego, lovely to work with, an amazing actress, um, and a really good laugh. She was great. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!